A dozen new Warren police officers were sworn in today with several moving in from other communities, including Detroit. Almost half of the officers are minorities in a city where diversity has been a touchy subject. Governor Investigator Jim Kurtzner live in Warren for us tonight with the story and reaction, Jim. This city is in the middle of a federal lawsuit as well as the mayor brought by the first African-American Warren police officer, Sheila Hollett. She left here claiming a hostile work environment. The mayor says the ceremony today is a big step forward. Before today, we had one uh, African-American officer. As of today, we've increased that three times to now we have four. Uh, Hispanics, I'm not sure we had more than one or so before. We have a couple more. So I think it's a step in the right direction. In the center of the ongoing federal lawsuit is the mayor's former diversity director, who left after less than a year. He says in court papers that the mayor told him diversity was on the back burner. And in his opinion, he was hired as window dressing. Does this have anything to do with the DeSheila Howlett lawsuit? No, I don't think so. It doesn't, which has been in plans for some time. In the same lawsuit, the attorneys for the city and the mayor continued to file motions asking the judge to keep the mayor from testifying in a deposition or seal it if he does. The judge already denied those once before. Jim, you know, in, you know, you're a good reporter. I enjoy talking with you. But the problem is I can't comment on a court case. Officer Guy Angelucci. Mayor says some of the new officers came here because of better pay, benefits, and working conditions. Some are also here to start a second career as a cop. They are the best and the brightest that we could get. Officer Tucker was born in Now, Mayor Fouts is not slowing down. He tells me he will run for re-election next year. Term limits for the office of mayor were extended last year. But this could stop it all. Who's behind this and why now? Only on 7, coming up at a half hour at 6 o'clock. We'll see you then. Live in Warren, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Jim.